Every day, our environment is undergoing changes, changes that impact and affect our world. Global warming, climate change, environmental pollution and degradation, desert encroachment and flooding are daily destroying our world and making it unsafe for habitation. How do we cope with these changes? How do we improve the quality of life through our environment? These and many more environment issues will occupy us weekly on Environment Today. It's imperative that people comply with laid down environmental laws if we must enjoy the benefits of a clean and healthy environment. But there are certain habits which are outrightly unfriendly to the environment. Join Nkoli Omudu on Africa Independent Television AIT as we take an incisive and in-depth look at our environment. Environment Today, creating a better and safe environment for the world. On our interview segment, we shall be looking at the reform in the transport sector in Lagos and other development issues. Our guest is Steve Ayorinde, the Lagos Commissioner for Information. Just a few days ago, we heard, um, it was all over the media, both the social and conventional media, that the Lagos State Government is banning, you know, interstate transportation from Ikorodu Road to start with and that may be replicated in other parts of the state. So we'd like to find out from the government the reasons for doing this. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think the word banning is appropriate. Right uh, no, um, it was actually about six days ago, I think precisely last week, Wednesday, uh, that there was a follow-up um, inspection of certain interstate, a number of interstate uh, bus um, um, for want of a better word terminals you know privately owned terminals um, along the Korodu Road particularly around Jibo and uh, Fade uh, in Lagos uh, which of course followed the initial inspection by His Excellency the Governor uh, after we after several months of interfacing uh, with different stakeholders in the transportation sector. Uh, you're very much aware that uh, the larger picture we are looking at is to carry out a comprehensive uh, transport reform for Lagos State. Uh, so last Wednesday, we formally uh, rolled out a directive which now requires that after seven days, um, interstate, there won't be interstate bus terminals within town, but for this phase on Ikorodu Road, because uh, by the general uh, Lagos City master plan that we have reviewed and which we are implementing, uh, interstate bus terminals for now, for, for now are limited to Ojota which is already operational, and to Ojodu, which we are already developing. Uh, so what we have done is a culmination of series of meetings and interfacing uh, with stakeholders in the industry to say that uh, having reviewed and appraised um, a number of issues uh, bordering on the environment, bordering on cleaning, cleanliness, uh, bordering on security, uh, and uh, of course on traffic you know uh, impact assessment uh, we thought that it is not proper the way it is done all over the world uh, in standard mega cities that you can't have uh, clusters of privately owned bus terminals within town uh, but what we have done is not to ban what we are saying is that uh, those luxurious long buses uh, henceforth, for those who are on the Kurodu Road, will have to load and disembark passengers from Ojota. And once uh, the one at Ojodu is ready, it means that there will be an expansion, you know, because at that time, we probably will need to include other uh, interstate terminals that are within, within town. People have mentioned uh, Ijora, people have mentioned, you know, Maza Maza, people have mentioned, you know, other places in Lagos, but it's one you know, at a time, uh, 
so that's what informed it, you know, basically. Uh, the operators will still be allowed to use their offices and premises. And thankfully, uh, we know that these days, the way uh, interstate you know, transportation operates is that you book your uh, destination online, you get your ticket, you even pay you know, online or use your smartphone you know, and things like that to pay. And you only go to uh, the bus terminal to board. Okay, that means at the moment, the offices they've already established in those areas will still be allowed to stay. Nobody's touching the offices at all. You know, I mean, you can book anywhere. You know, the only thing that we are saying is that the buses that are operating, because, I mean, look at the size, the, the time it will take them to, to, to navigate, to turn, to reverse, you know, and stuff like that. You can't, you can't, we can't continue to have that done, you know, within the city. Does it, it have to do with only the long buses, the luxury buses, or it also affects once, the once, once, also once, it is, once it is interstate and you are on the Kurudu Road, for now, uh, the policy requires that you have to move to Ajata. Ajata is already operational. Uh, the special advisor to the governor on transportation, you know, met with different stakeholders and, you know, the... Uh, what we have issued out now is that the place is ready. Uh, even the NURTW um, people who are already using Ojeta, you know, say that, that they are looking forward to welcome, you know, the interstate operators. You know, but because that has been the issue really before now. There was a time when those bus um, operators were actually in Ojeta area before government took over that area for beautification and all of that and they did explain that you know at that time they were having issues there were always this um rivalry between the NUWT people and them yeah. you know until they moved away from there so the borrow stopped mm -hmm. so are, are you foreseeing a situation where the government will have to start settling quarrels again between these, these not countries? at all we don't see why there will be any quarrel uh, the ministry of transportation is very much on top of this uh, which is why we have uh, ensured that there are a series of um, stakeholder engagements, meetings, etc. We shouldn't reduce uh, transportation, particularly for interstate to, um, you know, thuggery or criminality and the like. Particularly if you are in a space where, you know, uh, uh, which is sufficient, which is adequate, and we believe that Ojota is very much sufficient. You know, as we go along, a lot of the facilities will grow, as the businesses develop. You know, facilities will also uh, be provided. We do not envisage that there will be any issues, frankly.